happy times. I have this uh, plantain that I have picked from the park. Plantago lanceolata, recognisable by these five parallel veins on the leaves, for one thing. Now I'm going to make a salve out of this because it's really good for skin problems, sunburn and itches and bites and various dermatitis. So I'm going to make a salve, or a salve as Americans say. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is wash these. I'll just pop it in some water there and soak it for a while. And I'll be getting this out a bit later. Just maybe give it another rinse and dry it out. Step one. Yeah, my heart's in a whirl. I love, I love, I love my little colander girl. Okay, that's just silly. Here's my plantain rinsed out and in a colander. And the next thing I'm going to do is just dry that out further by putting it on this beautiful tea towel that has a bush turkey on it. Oh. So I'm just going to lay them out like that. And just let the, the air coming through the window dry those out to the next stage. Beautiful. Morning. Here we are about a week later. And you can see that's dried really nicely and become nice and crunchy. I could put that in a jar and use it as a tea, as a cough remedy. Um, here's one that's a little bit younger. It hasn't really dried out that well so far and here's one that I hung up on a bit of string um, and hung out on the veranda and that's that's dried really quite well so I'm just experimenting with drying techniques um, to see what works best and here's some really fresh stuff that I just picked this morning so what I'm going to do now is use a pile of leaves on a paper towel in the microwave at 20 second intervals and see how that goes. Voila! And make sure you've got your quality control officer with you. Over to the microwave. In she goes. Uh -huh. Now what I'm going to do is dry this on um, 20 second intervals 20 second intervals let's see how we go and here's the microwave method and you can see that really dehydrates it so I'm going to dry out these ones and then I'm going to combine them all and get to the next step in making of this salve and there it is, a big bowl of dried plantain ready to go. I've just had a brainwave and thought I might add some lavender, so I'm going to dry that out as well because it has good uh, medicinal properties for the skin. If you had some calendula, you could well add that too. Mm. Well, that just smells divine with the lavender in it. I've put it in one of these casserole things. And I'm going to add some olive oil. Make sure it's extra virgin or extroverted and cold pressed. Um, organic could be good. And just pour it in there and cover the herbs thusly. This is the uh, infusion step. We're going to infuse the herbs into the oil. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take that over to ye olde stove pop top and just pop it on there and get that heating up. Um, very importantly do not hard boil this. You don't want it bubbling away so it's quite a simmer really and um, so you want, only want to see little bubbles. So I'll come back to this in a while and we'll see how it's going. Hey, look at that. This has been steeping for some time on a simmer and the colour's looking nice and dark. Um, this has a very potent smell, I must say, and it smelled a little bit like something 
you might smell around musicians out the back. All right, the time has come to strain this infusion. You see here I have a small sieve and a little jug. And I'm just going to pour it through there lastly. Mm -hmm. Looks wunderbar. Make sure I get all of that mixture. Okay, that's enough of that for the moment, um, for the sake of a demonstration. Now I have some cheesecloth here that I bought on eBay, and I have maybe four layers, and I'm just going to double strain it. Put it through there into this jar. You can see how very dark the mixture is. And as you will see, the second strain has eliminated more bits. And let's have a look at that colour. Can we see it? Very dark. That is very full of goodness. So I'm just going to do the rest of this before I come to the next step. Okay, here we are. Um, getting to the final stages of this uh, process. We have the beautiful infused oil here. Now I have bought some um, high quality beeswax directly from the bee guy on Facebook Marketplace. His name is Gavin Lovett. Uh, should you wish to look him up per chance to purchase. Um, I've graded some of that up and the next step is to add the beeswax to the mixture to create a good consistency for a salve um, so not too hard not too soft. So I'm going to um, put some in here. I really have no idea what the measurements should be because I don't even know how much is in this jar and amount. So I'll just try that. I also have some more oil here, so if I make it too beeswaxy, I can I can actually go back on this occasion. There we go. So what I'm going to do, just to follow me this way, is pop it in a pot with water in it that is hot, such that I may melt this beeswax into the mixture. There we go. Let that melt through, stirring it all the while. Righty. So there we have the beeswax nice and melted. But we have no idea what the consistency is yet, so I'm going to take out a tablespoon and put it in this wee dish. Not a wee dish, a wee dish. And I'm going to pop that in the freezer and then take it out and let it sort of cool at room temperature again so that we can check the consistency of the salve. And now the end is near and so we face the final coiton. So here's the salve and it's at room temperature now and I'm just going to test it on a bit of skin to see if, how the oiliness consistency is if it's too waxy or too oily. Now it is 21 degrees in Brisbane today and that's uh, that's pretty cool for Brisbane so it's going to become 35, 40 degrees during the summer in which case this will uh, be more oily because it will melt. <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'm going to add more beeswax to get a bit of a drier consistency. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add a bit of um, lavender oil just so it smells really nice. And lavender is also uh, medicinal for the skin. So I'm going to heat back up the salve with some more of this and see how that goes. Okay, here we are um, at the finish line with my containers and I'm just going to Fill them up like so. Got some little sample ones for some friends to try. See if it helps their eczema. 
psoriasis or um, it's also good for cuts and bites and sunburn and uh, what else you know, things of that nature just dry rough skin I should imagine I have too much There it is, plantain and lavender salve with olive oil and beeswax. Pretty straightforward, although it is um, a bit of a laborious process with a number of steps. I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you for watching. Look at the colour of that. That is goddamn fantastic. Contain salve.